January 2nd. Academically, she has been named to the Dean's List in six semesters and has been a member of one of these 10 commissioners on a roll in each of her seven semesters. She made her more pump fakes from the corner, driving, puts it up strong and lays it in. Very good defensive plays early on as Hayes has it, drives, spins, puts up a jump shot and lays it in. Hebert driving, puts up a jump shot, and that one's good. Yeah, they were looking to try and get the fast break there. Brown drives, puts it up off the glass, and one. Hayes driving, going to try and put it up, blocked from behind. She's going to get her own rebound, kick out to Ondo. Ondo putting up the three, got him. You know, the, you know, there's a high probability of Ondo making that corner three from Hebert. That's her spot, and that's good. Back-to-back -back threes by the Chargers will lead to a St. Rose timeout. Moore with it now. Moore driving, putting up the shot, and lays it in, and one. Ondo pump fakes, driving baseline now, putting up a baseline J, and that one's good. Simmons to Bradford. Bradford driving, Euro step, and lays it in. Double teamed. Five on the shot clock. Out to Ando. Long two. And she gets that one to go. Another, says Gonzalez with another the shot. Another good possession of defense by the Chargers. You know, we were talking about the whole game as there's two, Easy. one, and that will do it. Welcome back to NewHavenChargers.com. Here with head women's basketball coach Jessica Smith. After a 71-65 victory, the final regular season game against St. Rose. Coach, talk about tonight's performance. Well, I think we came out actually a little bit flat in the first half, uh, and then the second half our defense definitely picked up. Um, they're, they're a really tough team. They've been in a lot of close games this year, and I knew it was going to be another battle. And uh, I was really proud of them down the stretch where we got good possessions offensively and we got stops on defense. Coach, talk a little bit about uh, some individual performances tonight. Brianna Bradford, 23 points. Brian Moore, 16. And Aquilin Hayes, another 17 rebounds. Yeah, well, uh, um, honestly, I'm really happy for uh, Bria Moore. She's been struggling a little bit, and we need to kind of get her back on track. Um, they put a smaller kid on her for part of the game, and that helped. Um, you know, she's a really, really strong kid, and she's been going against four players. Um, so today they actually put uh, their three-player on her, and she was able to kind of get going, which is what we need for the playoffs. All right, Coach, on to the NA10 tournament. Uh, first time in three years here. Uh, what do you expect out of your team come down the stretch here? Well, uh, this is our highest finish ever since we've joined the league, so I'm very, very, very proud of the team. I think uh, we battled after going through kind of a rough patch in January, and uh, I expect the same thing. I expect us to battle. I expect every game to be close. I expect us to, you know, play defense and, uh, and, and really, really grind out games. So I'm looking forward to it. Congrats, Coach. Great finish here. Talk Thanks. to you soon.